guys, it's Nicole and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to drive around. I have nowhere to be, like literally no destination whatsoever, but you guys are gonna come with me while I drive. I'm gonna talk about some fun topics and answer some questions. And I feel like this is good because you guys always ask for driving videos or like sit down talking ones. And I just love updating you guys with what's been going on. So hope you enjoy. Oh my god, there was a bee. But before we get into it, here's a word from today's sponsor. Thank you so much to Shein for sponsoring this video. Shein has the trendiest styles, and I wanted to show you guys the latest spring launch with a haul. Whether you're traveling or brunching with friends, Shein has the cutest looks for you without breaking the bank. I have some really cute items to show you guys, so let's get into this haul. Starting with this dress that I have on right here. I think this is so cute. It's like a little dainty white dress with some purple flowers, and then there's also some lace up here. But the thing I love about these types of dresses is that you can either dress them up or dress them down. Let's say I want to look a little more fancy. I could put on some cute boots and like a nice jacket or I could literally wear this to school with like some tennis shoes and then like a light jacket Which I would totally do. I think it's super cute and I can't wait to wear it out This next dress I feel like screams spring. It's a super cute pink one with some white flowers And I just love how flowy and fun it is like there's a tie right here The sleeves are all like puffy. I would totally wear this if I was hanging out with some friends and like getting food or something Here's the next fit. First we have a skirt. It looks like a skirt But there's a seam in the middle so it fits like shorts, but I think it's super cute It's black and you can literally pair it with anything and by the way, for the rest of this haul, I'll be wearing these bottoms with the tops that I'm going to show you guys. Speaking of tops, here's the first one. I love it. It's like a little crop top. It's this really pretty mauve color and it has like lace up here. But I would definitely wear it with these bottoms right here or I could pair it with like jeans, leggings, like literally anything. But yeah, here's it up close. Next up is this long sleeve. I love tops like these where it color blocks different shades. So there's like light green, dark green, and then also white. But it's super comfy. Like I love the material. And again, I would totally wear it with these bottoms or pair it with like jeans. Then we have a tank top. This is super cute. It's brown. It says Palm Springs. I feel like this also screams spring to me. Spring break, actually. It's like a looser fit, so you can put it over a bathing suit, or you can just wear it with, like, some denim shorts. But I think it's super cute, and I'll definitely be wearing it this spring. Then we have this little baby tee. It's just a black crop top, and it has this really fun graphic. It's, like, a heart in the middle, and then, like, angel wings. But I love tops like these, because especially in this weather, like, it's starting to get hot, but it's not, like, summer hot. It's, like, perfect for the weather. Next, we have this long sleeve right here. You guys, this is so cute and comfy. Like, I wish you could feel how soft this material is but it's a gray long sleeve and then there's little ties on the side so you can make it tighter but again it's so comfy i'd literally wear this to sleep but also to like school and honestly just anywhere super cute i really like it next we have a hoodie shein has so many hoodies like the selection on the website is crazy but i picked this one out it's pink and then on the back it says do what makes you happy in this really cute font with flowers but it's super soft inside and i would totally wear this just like lounging in the house or even if i go out as well and last item in this haul is this beige jumper that says las vegas this is probably one of my favorite items i just just love all the colors how it fits and like also the collar and the sleeves are really cool but i feel like my fashion style is very cute and comfy like that's what i keep in mind when i pick out my outfits and this jumper is definitely an item that i would describe my style with so yeah i just can't wait to wear this out and i think it's super cute and that concludes this haul Shein is offering an exclusive 15 percent off if you enter my code let me know at checkout and the link will be down below in the description box they're offering the cutest styles with the best prices so thank you so much to Shein for sponsoring this video and now let's get back into it let's begin first things first we're gonna talk gym members Membership. If you guys watched my last video, you guys know that my family and I recently just got a gym membership to this one club And it's a pretty cool club. You can do like a bunch of different things You can work out in all the different gyms or you can play like tennis or pickleball and speaking of pickleball It is so much freaking fun. It's definitely the Leno family's new favorite hobby I feel like it's just a fun activity to like stay active and bond with the family So we're gonna try to do that like a few times a month But speaking of the gym, I went to the treadmill the last time I went and you guys I already love it I haven't even worked out that much like I'm already in love with the club Basically Basically, I wanted to get a gym membership like after comp season ended because right now my schedule is very tight with dance and everything But we just decided to get one now And so i'm hoping that i'll have time during the week because I really want to get into like a routine and work out different muscle groups So hopefully i'll get into a gym routine and then i'll film like a whole video about that But i'm already like so excited because when you work out at home like it's effective But when you have a membership to go to an actual place Like you have to get up put on some cute workout clothes and actually go somewhere to like get things done So I think it'll just be really productive and also summer bod. I am so ready for summer and I think working out will just be a new favorite thing to put in my routine. Next, let's talk about my mental health. <laughs> I got a lot of questions on how it's been or like how I've been recently and I'd like to say it's been going pretty good. However, I did cry at school today. So yeah, <laughs> I feel pretty overwhelmed, you know, like stressed about different things, but like what's new But I think recently I've just had kind of a hard time with the people in my life Which i'll talk about in a minute and explain but like i'm very happy with everything in my life Obviously like i'm staying positive and everything but I will say there have been a few days lately where i've kind of 
been down <laughs> which hasn't been really fun but we're all gonna go through that like we all have off days and i'm trying to understand that like it's okay to not be okay 100 of the time but i think what i'm going through is just something that everyone has to experience especially during like their teen years so i know this time is temporary and like things will pass but overall i'm very happy like everything in life i'm so grateful for i'm so blessed and i've just been trying to enjoy life but kind of explaining more on that let's talk about people i'm just gonna say it i am so over people like oh my gosh of course i have my close friends and family who i love I know they love me. We both make each other happy, you know? It's a beneficial relationship. But like, I don't know what's been going on. I've just been dealing with some unnecessary people, I guess. Here, I'm just over people who make others feel bad for no reason. Do you get what I'm saying? For example, I'm just trying to live a happy life, you know, enjoy every day. But you know, there's some people who are just immature and mean for whatever reason. Like, I don't know if it makes them feel better or something, but I've just been around some very toxic energy and I'm just over it. <laughs> but like I said, this is just a part of growing up and I think everyone has definitely experienced some toxic energy. But I feel like the hugest step is just recognizing it and like knowing that you shouldn't chase it. You know, like you shouldn't be chasing the toxic energy. If someone's making you feel bad, don't be friends with them. Like it's as simple as that. What I'm trying to do right now is kind of just realize who in life is worth it. People who make you happy and lift you up and not make you feel bad all the time because that is toxic energy. And like, it's so hard to find genuine relationships right now, which is very sad as you get older you just learn quality over quantity like you don't need 10 fake friends just find the good two and you're set you just need those people who you know you can trust and who have your back and you're good i don't know who needs to hear this right now but if there are people in your life that are like mean or just give off bad energy towards you they're not worth your time and energy like sometimes people just want a reaction or want a good laugh which is so messed up i didn't really finish my thought like what i wanted to say in the car but basically i'm trying to explain like some people just want to see you fail like they want to see you lose so try to keep your head high just keep going and prove them wrong okay back to the video next topic let's talk about school so if you guys didn't know i'm currently a sophomore in high school we're in the second semester right now kind of closing the third quarter academics wise it's been pretty good my hardest two classes which haven't changed since the beginning of the year are ap chem and algebra 2 honors i would say they're pretty challenging but it's definitely doable like the workload isn't that bad i've definitely been enjoying being at school without math starting to feel normal again like it was kind of weird at first seeing everyone's face <laughs> because like i had no clue what everyone looked like but then when people took their masks down i was like oh okay <laughs> but yeah i would say for the most part like school has been pretty good we have some events coming up which are very exciting i'll definitely be vlogging those and then i think in like a month or two we're already picking classes for next year i'll be a junior which is kind of crazy but yeah so i already have to start thinking about like what classes i want to take for next year and like what my plan is going to be and stuff ah! guys i have no clue where i'm going like i'm literally just turning i don't i don't know where i'm going next topic guys <laughs> I always get questions if I'm in a relationship, if I'm talking to someone, if I'm crushing on someone. The answer is no. <laughs> I am single, I have been single, and I probably will be single for a little bit. I don't even have a crush right now, like I'm not talking to anyone. Which makes life kind of boring. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You don't need to have a crush to make life exciting. But you know, I'm actually very satisfied with being single right now. Like, I'm not opposed to the idea of a boyfriend of course like you know a boyfriend would be nice but i feel like the moment you start looking for a boyfriend it doesn't come does that make sense like i can't try and go find a boyfriend it kind of just has to find me <laughs> does that sound nonsense i don't know what i'm trying to say is just i'm gonna let things happen the way they're supposed to like i'm just gonna put my trust into god and if i get a boyfriend i get a boyfriend but right now i'm like satisfied with where i'm at so yeah Next, I'm going to answer a question that one of you guys asked. It's, how does YouTube affect your real life? First off, I just want to say I love being a YouTuber. Like, I love creating videos. It's definitely a passion of mine. And I don't want to stop anytime soon. Obviously, I put a lot of my life on social media. Like, what you guys see on my channel is very authentic to my real life. I'm not putting on a show or, like, showing anything fake. I would say one thing that I don't really like is that people who haven't even met me before automatically assume that I'm a snob or, like, I have an ego and I'm snobby. But, like, they haven't even met me before. Like, they haven't talked to me and they have, like, all these assumptions on me. I think it's sad because, first of all, you shouldn't even judge anyone. Like, even if I didn't have a YouTube channel, you shouldn't judge people or, like, how they are if you haven't even talked to them. Guys, I have no clue where I'm at right now. I think aside from that though, like obviously my schedule is a little different. I just have to worry about filming and editing, but I wouldn't trade any of this for the world. I love what I do and I don't plan on stopping. The next question I wanted to answer is what's some advice for young girls that have a lot of insecurities? I saw a lot of comments about insecurities and confidence, like being confident and stuff. 
hello so i definitely want to touch base on these topics but i think something to remember is that everyone is insecure about something even if it doesn't seem like it because i feel like this is another reason why social media is toxic but I've definitely looked at a girl and been like, oh wow, she's so pretty. She probably has nothing to be insecure about. But it's like, that's not reasonable because it's literally human nature to be insecure. It's a common emotion that everyone feels. I mean, it sucks. Like, I hate feeling insecure. Like, I, you guys, I am insecure about so many different things. You have no clue. But what helps with this is just reminding yourself that you're beautiful just the way you are. As cliche as it sounds, I know it's not that simple. Like, you just tell yourself that and then everything's fine. But like low key it is, like I swear, if you tell yourself something, you will start to believe it. So some advice for like being insecure and stuff is stop comparing yourself to others, first of all, because comparison is just not. <laughs> I personally don't think it'll help in like any situation. I feel like the only situation where comparison is beneficial is if you're comparing yourself, like present self to your past self and like trying to become a better person, if that makes sense. But comparing yourself to other people you it's not gonna help you because you're just gonna feel bad about yourself i'm gonna say it because i've definitely done this myself but just know that you're beautiful you were meant to look like how you are you were born this amazing person and you just have to believe it because i'm telling you once you start loving yourself it's gonna attract so many good things for you okay and last thing i'm gonna talk about to end on a good note are things in my life that are my happiness at the moment number one being my family my mother linda my father noel <laughs> and my brother christian and sadie my dog i just love them so much and i'm so grateful for them they're my rocks i'm just like i'm so blessed because like they're my safe place i feel like with so much going on in the world and like so much stress and stuff i can always go back to them and like know i'm okay number two i would say my close friends they know who they are but like the people who just love me for me and who are genuine and have my back i love y'all i think it's so easy to get caught up with the wrong people but the right ones are just so important another thing is driving i literally love driving you guys and i'm so grateful like the privilege of driving alone it's still so cool to me just me driving to school in the morning i feel so cool <laughs> and that's like something i was excited about like turning 16 and stuff is that i get to drive and i'm definitely loving it and then lastly i would like to say youtube this channel getting to create videos and all of you guys all of my supporters i love you so so much you guys make me so happy you guys are my motivation when it comes to all this i just want you to know that i appreciate you and i appreciate all of your support i'm almost back home <laughs> i literally drove in like the randomest streets ever but i'm in my neighborhood again this is going to be the end of today's video thank you guys for coming along and driving with me let me know if you guys like these types of videos where i just ramble and talk about random stuff but thank you again to Shein for sponsoring this video make sure to use my code leno at checkout thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed make sure to like and comment down below subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications and go get some positivity pill merch i will see you guys back with another video i love you guys so so much stay positive bye, bye.